And from all of us at 2K Sports, and, and we know Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Now Sacramento starting five. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. And it's Fox in at the one spot. George passes to Fongecchio. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. A wise pass right there by the rookie George. Solid at finding open teammates. Three-pointer. Utah with the rebound. Kicks it to Collins. Outside, Markinen. Collins a screen on Murray. Markinen inside the line. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Stolen by George. Out to the wing. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the deep. The Jazz shooting their first foul shots of the night here. At the line for two, Fontecchio. And he makes the first. Sacramento making a switch here. He hits both from the strike. Stolen by Sexton. And Sexton slams it in. And how about the leaping ability there on the slam? I love how Sexton just rises up with confidence inside. And Fox gets it to go. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. That one, no good. And so the first quarter is in the books. Jazz lead by four. From the Delta Center, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, from what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. Sometimes you just need a change of pace. The bench delivered that. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the King. Four-point game. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. They've got Markinen. Cowan Sexton is out there with Taylor Horton Tucker. Then there's Walker Kessler. And it's Hendricks in at the three. The small forward. That's the group right now for Utah. Horton Tucker in the corner. Markin in a screen on Herter. Horton Tucker. The pass to Markinen. And he uses the glass on the lane. Markinen's got his first points of the game. And how about the D? Was excellent there. But Markinen just so skilled. And with that size, still able to finish. Wow, this guy's got a chance to be special. A bonus over Kessler. It's good, and the Jazz lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Sabonis. I like how aggressive Sabonis is inside. He just has a feel for how to score down there. Being left-handed also helps. Here's Kessler. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. And so it's Utah. With their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? You look at the Jazz. They're frustrated, and you can understand their frustration. They were expected to be good this year. Their fan base was fired up. 
but it just hasn't come together. Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the Utah Jazz. Offensively, they've been impressive. Working. That is more than enough of a. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And it's the Kings with the ball. They trail by six on the court for Sacramento. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herder. Off and running right out the bat here to start the second half. Pass to Collins. A fader. And there's another one for the Jams. And this is how you use the mid-range area. Collins keeping it simple and just taking what the D gives. In the corner, it's Sabonis. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Sabonis. Sabonis has got five now. The way he can elevate over a defender from deep, very tough to contain outside the arc. Nineteen seconds left in the third quarter. And that one's good, Abaji. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Fox dishes to Murray. And another three for Sacramento. Short corner, but not the easy corner. Murray just oozes with confidence from that three-point line. Abaji the pass to George. Three-pointer. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer hater. Go into the fourth quarter riding high. That's almost got to feel like a game winner to them. The third quarter comes to a close. Utah out in front, leading by five. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. the game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball and so Sexton will bring it up for Utah leading by five Collins is out there with Kelly Olenek then it's George then there's Sexton and it's Abaji in at the three that's the five on the floor for the Jazz Murray outside. And here's Herter outside. Money! And now they trail by just four. I love it when young players add elements to their game. If Murray can continue to pass like that, it'll be tough to slow down. The Jazz making a switch here. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. And finish off by Collins. Yeah, this is as easy as it gets for Collins. Once he establishes position, the defense is toast. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Davion Mitchell's checked in for De'Aaron Fox. Name a type of shot. Deontay George can hit it. More than capable of scoring at all three levels. Walker Kessler, he's checked in for John Collins. And the Kings also making a change. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Mitchell. Got it! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Utah calls timeout. They're leading by two. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, guys, listen in with Will Hardy and his team. You know, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving everything you have. Bring this one home. See if they can pull it off, guys. Thank you, David. A fine shooter from the line. Marketing has no problem getting fouled when the pressure's on. And the Jazz making a change here. Abaji's checked in. 
Well, they wanted every last one of those, and he delivered, making it a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're behind by four. 23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, it has to be fast. They got to take the first good look they get. And now they foul and stop the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. They can't make the second free throw either. Listen, both. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're trailing by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth. What do you think, guys? They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out. No time to waste. They need a score. Kevin, they should take the first good look they get. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Who calm and collected, say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. It drops. And, and how about Monk there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Utah calls timeout. They lead by four. Six seconds left in the game. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Team is in the pen. At the line for Utah. Ocha Abachi. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pulls up on the wing. And so it's Utah with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that. Thanks so much, David. And that'll do it, folks.